Welcome back, Christian Traders and YouTube, for a market recap of how we traded the market today on our combine. Uh, we're going to go over S&P 500, and we're going to be looking at the bigger chart here for you guys first, showing you guys exactly what we were looking at. So off the Sunday open, we did see the market try to push down and then all of a sudden started to climb up and then got a pullback and continued up and during the london session you can see we got as high as somewhere around these 41s and then we started to push right back to the downside so as we were drawing into the open of the u.s session the market was pulling back and uh, we were in the room earlier and if you guys were with us and even if you weren't our trade idea was that we pull back into the 28 to 32 area get the nice resistance we want to see off the open and they get a nice short opportunity down to some of our levels so you can see this red zone that we had was actually our first area of support that we we're looking for and then if we can get through this level we were then looking for the market to come down into our levels below which was down here at this green zone and then we had another line here uh, which is going to be right off that uh, point of control, the 87, 38, 87, 75, which the market did actually get down into. And you can see we are bouncing up from that level right now. So um, off the com combine, we had a nice trade short. We got in a little bit lower than we wanted to. Obviously, we wanted to get up here at these uh, 28s, but trading both on Sierra charts and also on the combine. So got a little bit lower, but we still got the nice move down into the 15 uh i think it was 1550 or 1575 you'll see it in the recap video that you see us trading on uh, we ended up trading right to the downside and then the market ended up moving even lower but i didn't have as much lots on uh for the combine to take the rest but we did have a nice move on the sierra charts um <clears throat> our account on there right down into our overnight low so again that's kind of what we try to do every single day is make sure that our trades line up uh, with our levels or around our levels and our trade ideas stay consistent every single day even if they don't work out the goal here is to learn to find consistency in what you're doing every single day because the closer you are to consistency the more that you'll start to see that your success rate continues to go higher and higher um, but if you don't follow your consistent rules and stick to your process and plan if you're not consistent with those things that's how you get things to break down um, and how you get really emotional in trading and you'll notice that if you continue down that route if you don't allow yourself to walk that straight line of consistency you're going to veer off um, into directions you don't want to go right so uh, with trading you're going to see even in today we did have a nice idea even on the combine even when we got a little bit lower for the entry we did get a nice push all the way down into our level uh, and we took it off at one of our levels taking the profit there so uh, still doing very well on the combine trading as well and uh, i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looked like for us to trade to the downside on the combine um, hold on once all right so pulling over the chart here for you guys to see you can see we had a short idea here 39 23 25 we we're trying to get it off of that point of control the market pulled back a little bit into those uh, 30s and then we started to drop off from there uh, and we started to move down we had two lots short here we got into 39 15 25 and then again from there you can see the market started to drop off again we got another short here 39 07 25 and we got it down into the 39 05 25 uh, for two of those lots as well so so made some good profits here on the combine um, pretty easy trading again for the most part for the morning um, because we saw that downside move but again that's what you want to do in trading you're going to see in the video how the trade played out as well live um, but that's what you want to do you want to keep your trades consistent you want to trade from your levels and focus on that process and not necessarily the outcome of the actual trade all right so if one trade idea you have doesn't work out that's okay move on to your next trade idea limit the amount of trades you take per day and most times you'll see that you can continue to come out at least green most times for the week if you keep with your rules follow your rules stay consistent and don't veer off of that but i hope you guys enjoy the video and again if you guys have not checked out the market analysis for the london session please go ahead and check those uh videos out they are definitely helpful when it comes to getting levels and ideas of trades before you guys trade any and uh, we will be starting a um market uh analysis or kind of like a uh market prep with me in the morning for the u.s session uh live as well 
probably going to be starting that up next week for you guys. So look out for that as well. But other than that, you guys take care. You have a great night. Bye.